Okay, good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to the report for the 28th of July. And uh, here are the events. Uh, I want to talk a bit about the FOMC takeaway. Now, the Fed as expected raised the interest rates to by 25 basis points, taking it to about 550 range in the latest FOMC meeting. So this did not come as a surprise as we entirely expect this after the pause in June. So during the briefing session by Fed Chair Powell, he did not go out raising the rates again in September meeting. It is, uh, he said, you know, this part, now the, this part can be a bit confusing, but, but I just want you to slowly see what's behind. He said it's certainly possible we would raise the fund rates at the September meeting if the data warranted. But he also said, I would also say it's possible we would choose to hold steady at that meeting. So it's basically saying I want I want to raise, and then after that you say again I may not be 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 raising. So we will need to 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 see what uh, what the results are later on. Now from that this statement we can see clearly that Fed is keeping the options definitely open, and uh, also repeating the same thing again. Base. Everything is said data dependent, data dependent, data dependent. That's what they are trying to say only data dependent. So when we talk about data, then okay, let's look at the few things where that is what are the data that is so important for them. I've listed it out for you guys. Uh, first thing first here is here. Oops. Now here are the data from now to next September meeting. We definitely have uh, a lot of data to digest. The first would be the quarter two GDP, two quart quarter two GDP that's going to come out, right? So from there, we will have a better idea uh, what that result is going to be, how the interest rates has been affecting the US market, number one. And number two, we have August and September CPI reports. So when you talk about CPI, it's just not on, it's not the year to year. Uh, that only, but I think it's also important to know the month-to-month, -month, especially the core CPI. Okay. Then we have the jobs reports. I'm referring mainly to the non-farm for August and September as well. And finally, before the 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 last the last inflation data would be the August PCE price index data. Now I didn't put in the September because the the PCE will always come out after the FOMC meeting. So, so you only have one PCE there. And then don't not to forget in August, you have the Jackson Hole Symposium where all it's a meeting with, with all the central bank uh, governors there. They're going to meet there during the symposium. They're going to talk about it. So we, there is really a lot of data to digest from now to then. Okay. So if you look at the overall high possibility, now, uh, at the current moment, we are seeing a 79% chance that we would, they're going to pause the rates again. Okay, so I'm going to monitor this possibility uh, here and so on, right over here from the way he's talking. And at the end of the day, if this don't give you the, the data that you're looking for, then no worries, we will look into... Uh, price action because price action will basically tell us, right? Um, now, what's important is right after that, okay? Do take note in the last tightening cycle in 2006, the Fed pause is rate for nine months, okay? Uh, we can definitely use this as a benchmark for the current tightening cycle. Um, if, you know, there are talks about four months, six months before the, the um, before they start cutting their rates, it will be because something bad affects the economy. For example, something's happening to the unemployment. It went much higher than the 4.6%. That can be one. Or the inability of, uh, of people to service their loans the various kinds of loans that's affected by the high interest rate environment, then directly affecting 
uh, the consumers, like for example, drastic drop in the retail sales, in the housing stats, and so on. Okay, this is wholly, wholly possible with interest rate elevated at the current levels. I do don't discount that fact. You know, all the market may be going up, but you know, if you have been following my report, I always been a very uh, have a pessimistic view of the market rather than an optimistic view of the market at the current moment because I believe at least a correction to happen in the market. Huh? 